you a sweetheart and pull up an account to see if there's any activity? That goes against bank policy. I know. Just look in the Philippines, see if there's been any charges. In the uh, beginning of the second season, uh, Elias Defex uh, returns as Joey for an appearance. Are we going to, I don't know if you guys can reveal anything. Is, are we going to see maybe further appearances from Elias or no? He's looking at the, he's looking at the man over there. I know, like, uh, can we? Uh, I, I'm a big fan of Elias. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's got, like, that golden voice. So, oh, it's so good. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, you got it down. Yeah, I know, because I, well, I have so many scenes with him, right? You guys, he's a really cool dude. And, and the best thing about Elias, Elias, you know, I love you, is, uh, is he's a huge Montreal Canadiens fan. So can we expect to see more from him? You want to answer the last I, question? I, I don't know. I've, I haven't seen every episode. You find Malcolm and you kill him. For our fathers. The villain for this year's, like this season, mm -hmm. is, uh, you know, a much more darker kind of uh, complex kind of villain compared to the first season. The first season, take care of some mangy mutts, that's fine. Now it's like you, you guys are dealing with, you know, powers and things that you guys didn't even know existed. Mm -hmm. uh, what can you tell us about this mysterious new villain? <laughs> uh, not much. Nothing. Other than, yeah, th there is this dark and mysterious force slash entity that is kind of the driving force this season. And, um, you know, I think uh, the audience might think that the witches are one thing, but they're probably another. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I think they'll be the fans will be uh, excited to see what role the witches play in the werewolf world. Cool. cool. And how it shakes our world. Oh. Ooh. Shake yeah. it. Shake yeah. Fuck. <laughs> I told you. It all comes back to Taylor Swift. Yeah. It does. Yeah. This guy is just unlike anything we've ever experienced before, man. We are so in the dark on this, mm -hmm. or in a fog. Whichever. Yeah. But this guy is bringing elements that we've never even knew existed. And we thought that we were superior beings. But this guy, I mean, clearly, if these witches can do what they did to us and they're scared of him, then what is he capable of? Right. Mm -hmm. So it's like, oh, my God, man, this is really, really scary stuff. <laughs> like, uh. Speaking of scary stuff, uh, in the early on in the season, uh, your first encounter with uh, the new characters, the witches, uh, particularly Paige, that leaves you pretty scared. But uh, is there anything you could say about uh, what that? Do you mean scared? What, you, when you were crying? You think I was when you were crying? Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't me. <laughs> I, was, I, wasn't, I wasn't crying. I was, I was, crying. I was bleeding from the eyes. Kron <laughs> Yeah, you know what? I was a little bit. Uh, I was a little bit. <laughs> it's true. In the screening last night, I, I leaned over to him afterwards. I was like, "That guy's a little bitch." <laughs> Go ahead. That's so, good but I, yeah, I got I got thrown thrown off my bearings for a while, and it was the first time I'd ever really been shook up like that. Mm -hmm. And the fact that it happened at the hands of this very beautiful woman, who happens to be quick as a whip and just I don't know, beautiful, uh, you know, it was kind of just like, what's happening in here? Yeah, what's going on right now? Mm -hmm. So it's, nice yeah, place. yeah, a couple of special, couple of special places. places, yeah, exactly. So yeah, it was a big day for me. 